What's going on YouTube? This is Jason with JCS Reefing and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to go through the opening box of a JVJ 15 gallon QB aquarium. Now I purchased this off a of live aquaria. They were having a clearance section and just scrolling through saw this for a killer deal. Now when I say killer deal, this came with this and the stand for about 130 bucks. No clue if it's still on their website because that was probably a mistake. As some of you may know, these go for quite a bit more than that. Anyways, looking at the tank right out of the box, I was pretty excited that it came pretty much with everything that you need. It has a light. It's an all-in-one, you know, filtration system in the back. And it came with a bunch of extras also inside the tank. Now looking closer at some of the things that it did come with, which is totally not what I expected. It came with a scraper, a net, a digital temperature controller, and a, you know, a siphon to clean your sand, and of course the two power adapters and your manuals. Now that was a pretty big shock considering did not expect that at all. Now each individual light channel does have its own power supply, so that is definitely a thumbs up so you can use your whites and your blues on different channels if you wish. Looking at the top, it's really kind of cool because it does have a feeding door. It has some vents in the back which allows some evaporation. But as such a small tank and a nano tank, I really didn't want to deal with a lot of evaporation. And if, if I'm going to be topping this off manually, really glad that it has a lid. Most likely I'll do an auto top off down the road. But for now, this is going to be perfect. As far as the filtration goes, I'm probably not going to use majority of the stuff that's in here just because it's not what I normally use. And I think, you know, some of the stuff I might use, maybe one of the filter sponges, but for the most part, I'm going to kind of redo that in a later video and kind of show you all what I'm going to do for the filtration on this. I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm going to try to keep this tank as simple as possible. Even if that means doing a, you know, a two gallon water change a week. That's right, a two gallon water change a week. See how it goes. Now, like I did say, it does come with a stand. Not gonna go into myself building a stand because that's pretty boring. So we're gonna keep it moving. Now, as you can see, this is literally what came in the box just with the tank. So I was pleasantly surprised with all the stuff that it did come with. Now, these two little holes in the back on the, uh, you know, the sump wall, the false wall. These are kind of like a wheat pole, and that's pretty much just to stop pressure from pushing and making that, that wall bow. So I do recommend not covering those holes up unless, you know, you know something that I don't. Now, as far as the tank is, it really is sleek, very nice. It's coated in some type of epoxy, um, so that's really nice to keep water and easy to wipe away. The lights, have many different channels that you can choose for your own tank that you want to run. This tank can, you know, be ran as salt water or fresh water. It's totally up to you. Now, as far as the pump goes, I think this pump runs about 250 or ish so gallons per an hour. Um, and I'm going to do this tank pretty much just very simple. This is going to be a very simple tank because I do have a, another tank upstairs that requires a little more maintenance. So this one, I'm gonna try to just keep it really simple. Some softies, some LPS, uh, you know, stuff like that in this tank. So I'm trying to get away without having to use a power head. So I might replace this with a random flow generator and we'll see how that goes down the road. Now, once the tank is in my house, it's kind of tucked away in its little corner and I'm really excited to kind of get this going. So please like, comment, subscribe, and follow along because this is going to be another little, you know, tank build. And I will also do updates on the 100 gallon reef very soon. So as always, happy reefing. Cheers.